Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the most recent episode of NXT from November 12th, so... Yeah, that should be that. How we usually do these reviews is that I go over all the matches and segments, I rank all of them, and give the full short rating at the end of it, so... Yeah, started off with Metaphor, Lash and Jakar versus, uh... Stephanie and Julia. Pretty good match to start off there. Um, nothing much. It was just good. That's it. <laughs> Women's division in NXT. Always good. 3.1 out of 5. I like it. Pretty good. Next up was Sol Ruka versus Cora Jade. Basically just a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute match. Which Sol Ruka won because Cora Jade hurt her knee. That's basically that. Not much of a match there. Not too long of it. 2.3 out of 5. So yeah. That's that. Uh, Next up was Wesley versus Cedric Alexander. Pretty good match there. It took a while to pick up, in my opinion. Everyone was saying it's one of the best matches of the year uh, for TV and NXT. I thought it was fine. I mean, it, it took a long time to pick up, in, in my opinion. The last, like, what, three minutes of it were really good. I'm going to give it a three out of five. So, yeah. Next up was Trick Williams, Andre Chase, and, Rich, and Ridge Holland. I mean, um, basically, what had happened is that it set up the match for next week. Andre, Chase, and Ridge Holland. Which, if Andre Chase loses, Chase is over. Like, they have to disband and all that. But if Andre Chase wins, he gets a title shot. Uh, it's basically a number one contender match with a stipulation on it. So, 3.2 out of 5. I, that time was fine, but, yeah, Whatever. Uh, next up was Nikita Lyons versus Adriana Rizzo. Nikita won. 2 out of 5. Next up, and then after that was Javon Evans versus Lexus King. Actually a pretty good match. Lexus is, uh, entering is not, is kind of unfortunate in my opinion. It's not that great, but Javon Evans carried him to a really good match. Lexus King is actually becoming likable, so, yeah, I'm gonna go to 3.2 out of 5, so, yeah. There was a moment of the match where, like, Javon got hurt, and, like, Lexus King did not want to pin him because he did not want to win, like, that. Little details like that. Is what make Lexus King somehow likable, at least in my opinion. So yeah, sorry if you can hear my dog barking. That's Carly. And the main event was uh, the NXT Women's North American Championship between uh, Kalani Jordan versus uh, Fallon Henley. I thought Kalani would win it back because I don't know. I just felt like she was going to be a transitional, cha a transitional champion. And anyway, no, no, obviously, uh, what obviously fatal influence cost her, and Fallon got the win. Uh, and then you had the entire men's tag team division brawl at the end of it, so, yeah. I'm gonna give the match 3 out of 5. It was pretty good. Um, it was good. I'm not gonna say pretty good. It was just good. So, if I had to break these segments, Lexus, uh, Lexus and Javon actually delivered match of the night, which is something I don't say much often from, uh, Lexus. Number 2 is Trick Williams, Andre Chase, and Witch Holland. Number 3, Metaphor, Stephanie Vicker, and Julia. Number four, Wesley versus Cedric Alexander. Number five was we uh, number five was the NXT Women's South American Championship. Number six was Slow Rika versus Corey Jade. And number seven was Nikita Lyons versus Yeah John Rizzo. And yeah. Good episode of NXT in my opinion. Uh, just just a routine episode. Nothing bad about it. Just not nothing really great about it, but nothing too bad either. I'm gonna give it a three point four out of five. I thought it was pretty good. So yeah. And that'll do it for this review. I'm rushing a lot of these because I had to go to a party like in an hour. So <laughs> let me just edit this and put it right up. And yeah, I'm not going to be doing Thursday Night Football tonight either. So sorry. Goodbye.